Okay? Okay. Before I get started with this video, let's just all get used to the way that I say the word panty. I don't say panty, I say pendi. So let's say it all together now. Pendi. Okay, let's try it one more time. Pendi. All right. Just one more time so the neighbors can hear you. Pendi. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up because I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapanish Manga, and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. And I can take it as advice or just use this as entertainment. Use it, don't use it, do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, I come to you in the name of good panties, darling, and a swirly skirt. <laughs> because today we're talking about my favorite subject. It's a fashion Friday. And I'm telling you the 411, the lowdown on ugly panties. I'll call this Ugly Panties Part 1 because I could go on and on and on about Ugly Panties. They touch me in a very deep place in my soul, in my spirit, in my being, in my bosom, in my chest. Okay, let me tell you the thing about Ugly Panties. We think that Ugly Panties just only is a thing we have, right? We just need underwear. We just need underwear in our lives. We just need to get up in the morning, wear a panty so that we're not naked, so we're not commando in the streets. But some of us, when we wake up in the mornings, we look at a panty and we reach for a panty that we know we shouldn't be reaching for. But you still have it and you still wear it. The thing about panties is that it is between you and your God. Unless your man wants to take your clothes off. But for majority of your life, your panties are yours. Things you allow to yourself. So when you wake up in the morning and you choose, you make a choice early in the morning, sisters. To wear an ugly panty, I feel as though it is the ultimate sign of disrespect to yourself. Today I'm going to tell you about five types of panties, ugly panties that you should not have in your life or the type of panties that you're allowed to have in your life, okay? Either way, they are ugly. I just want you to know about them. This is something that is not just about underwear. Don't just see it as a thing about underwear. It's about life. We can explain our whole lives through panties. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, whether it is for a Fashion Friday or a Motivation Monday or a Chalata Tuesday, whatever it is that you want to chat about, about being a woman, head over to my Instagram at Kopanashimange and look for this picture right here. It's in my Insta story highlights. All you have to do is look for Lavender Circle that says how I do things. Click and you'll see this picture. Let me know what questions you want to send to me and we'll do a video all about it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this ugly bendy situation and how you can change your whole life once you know about these five ugly bendies. We're jumping straight into it with painting number one, which is the mbobo. Mbobo. This is the type of panty that looks good from far, but when you come closer, it's not good at all. What is an mbobo for people who don't understand? Mbobo is a hole. So mbobo, AKA the hole. Let me explain this type of panty. This type of panty now is lace and it's stunning. When you bought it, you were just like, this one's going to look good. Price range doesn't matter. It could have been 50 Rand or 350 Rand for this panty is fine. The point is it's lace. It's delicate. It's nice. Makes you feel good. You wear it. No panty lines. Beautiful panty. So you bought it. You wore it. Looks good. Wash it. You wear it the next time. Looks good. Wash it. You put it away. And then the next time you wore it, you've done your nails or your nails are a little bit long. And then you're in the toilet. Ne? You peed, you try to put the panty back on, and then what happens is your thumb just goes into the bendy. And now you've got a hole in your lace bendy. <laughs> it's a beautiful bendy. But now you think to yourself, I mean, it's here, you know, it's, it's here on the bum. So from the front, it looks good. From far it looks good because it's lace. So lace does have a little bit of, you know, you can see through lace. But when you come close and you take a closer look, you're just like, there's a hole in your bendy. The thing about this bendy is it's very hard to let go of because it's beautiful and it's lace. So you can see through the lace and this hole is not that noticeable if you don't come too close. There's mbobos in our life that we're not letting go of. You should let go of it. You should not be wearing a panty with a hole in it. 
a panty that you know that from far it looks good from close is not good at all it's not good let go of it but they are bobos in our life that boyfriend that you guys look good in public but when people spend time with you you guys argue a bit too much he doesn't make you feel good he puts you down he's an mbobo he's the type of panty you need to let go of you have a job it pays really well but this job is toxic you take a closer look at this job and you realize this is i'm working in a toxic environment it's an mbobo you need to go let go of it in your life what other mbobos can you see in your life things that look good from far if you don't look too close at those things they look good but when you take a closer look at it it's a problem Penty number two is the bunga bunga baby bunga 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 every girl needs a bunga for those who don't know what a bunga is bunga is basically your period panty that one that is comfortable ne? a granny panty basically it's comfortable it never wedges and it holds a pad like a pro however bunga should never see the light of day outside of your house never 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 ever never never wear a bunga where people can see it there's certain outfits that can hide a bunga ne? but there's certain outfits that cannot a bunga is only for you yourself and your man because he knows that you're a woman and you go through these things a bunga is things for private every girl needs a bunga i have bungas bungas i bungas are comfortable guys if i could i would daily everyday bunga but those things aren't good for your self-esteem because the thing is about a bunga is it's a granny panty for a reason you wear enough bungas in your life if you only wear bungas in your life ne? you will start to feel like a granny yourself bungas are great for your self-esteem they don't make you feel like power they make you feel comfortable in life you need a bunga you need bungas bungas are necessary a bunga in your life is a comfort zone and to a very large extent we need to function outside of our comfort zone in order to achieve excellence in order for us to grow our confidence in order for us to feel better ourselves and do better in life we need to function outside of the, the comfort zone however the part where you need a bunga the part where you need to function within your comfort is to function in places where you are good at that thing so if you want to succeed in life find the bunga in your life right find the thing you are good at find the thing that you know you are naturally comfortable at doing this thing meaning challenging yourself in life doing things that are out of the ordinary so function within comfort within the thing that is good that you are good at look for your bunga in life the place that you are comfortable doing this thing you are good at speaking you are good at talking to people you are good at comforting people you're good at numbers but then once you found your bunga go outside the comfort zone of function get your lace get get risky take it beyond the levels that you are comfortable with that's how you find the balance with the bunga. Ugly panty number three is the tswape queen. Tswape, whoops, between the buttocks. What is a tswape? A tswape is a wedgie. There is that one panty. It looks so good. But every time you wear it, you're here. Removing the wedgie. The tswape looks good. Ne? And you want to wear it because it's functional. It works with the outfit you want to wear it with. However, when you're in public, you are uncomfortable. You can feel it scratching in between your bum. It's not, it's not a thong. It's not supposed to be there, but it is there. And you wear it because you like it. But you just don't like that it appears on you. And you wish that it wouldn't wedgie on you, but it does this ugly panty. The thing about this panty is that it doesn't look ugly. But because of the way that it feels on you, it is an ugly panty. You force it because it's a beautiful panty. You love this panty. It looks great on you. However, he's too small. He's the wrong fit. He's not for you. I'll give you an example. In life, we go for things, ne? Because they look good on other people. It just looks good. However, as soon as we try that on, as soon as we try that thing, it's just uncomfortable. It doesn't feel right. It is not for me. A place that I was in, a tswape in my life was employment. For a very large degree, employment was not for me. I tried to make it work. 
but even when I was in public, it just, you know, it just landed where it's not supposed to land. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't the right fit and I had to let go. As good as that job looked, as much as I got freebies all the time, I liked the pay, all of those things about that job looked good, but it just was not the right fit for me. What do you have in your life that looks good, that should be a good idea, but is just not the right fit for you? And you try and make it work, but you need to let go of that thing. That thing is a Zwapi queen and the Zwapi queen must go. Bendy number four is something that I like to call the once upon a time Bendy. The once upon a time Bendy, when you bought it, it was a beautiful navy blue, stunning piece of underwear. It had like the front bit and has the strings on the side, so it makes you look good and it feels good. And you wear it, it is comfortable, it is great, it is brilliant. It is an amazing fit of a Bendy. But as time goes, you wash it. It goes from navy blue to a different type of blue, like a denim blue. You continue to wash it and the elastics start to stretch. You wash it again and now it's gone from like a navy blue to like this grayish, whitish, babyish blue. It tunes in my love, meaning that the color has popped out of it. Once upon a time, this painting was comfortable. Once upon a time, it looked good. It was a beautiful panty. The color was beautiful. The elastic was beautiful. It fits, it's comfortable. And right now, it still fits. It's still comfortable. But it is no longer a good looking panty. It is an ugly panty. The color has faded. The elastics are kind of sticking out and you can see it. And there's a little string that hangs right underneath here that's a little uncomfortable, even though it tickles you. This panty is very hard to let go of because it is comfortable. And you always think of the day when it used to look so good. It used to look good and feel good. But now, it's not anymore. Even though it's comfortable, it is faded and it just no longer works for you. And you know that you shouldn't be wearing faded things. You shouldn't be using things that were good and they're not good anymore. It's no longer a good fit and it is time to let it go. This happens when you are at a job and you've been at that job for long and you're comfortable at that job, but it no longer challenges you. You either need a promotion or you need to get a new job. This happens in a relationship where you guys are high school sweethearts. You met in high school, you were great. Through varsity, you were great. But as you guys start to go into employment and you start to work and you start to push your hustles, the fit is not good anymore. You know each other really well, but you know that that oomph, that spark, that pop of color no longer exists in this relationship. It's that wig, that wig that once upon a time it used to look good, but now it's got loose ends and it's got split ends and it's just old. And although once upon a time it used to look good, you can see it's old. You can see it's lost its luster and it's time to let it go. And finally, number five, the wrong binti. The wrong panty looks good. It's a beautiful panty, ne? And it's stunning. It fits right. However, you decided to wear this thong with a dress. And now you can see the line, the panty line, the seam line right here through the dress. Or it's this beautiful lace underwear you have. Looks good, fits good, no, no, no scratches, nothing on it. But again, you can see the panty line when you wear it. It's the right panty, just at the wrong time. Not the right time for you to wear it. You wake up feeling excited that I'm going to wear my new panties, but it just doesn't go with your outfit because it gives you panty lines, because it, you know, it just, it's the wrong time for this one. For you to look good in the current outfit that you have picked, you have to change your panty. So it's the wrong panty. Right panty, wrong time. Sometimes this happens when you have a dream and it's something that you want to go for. It's just not the right time for you to chase that dream. You want to go on holiday. It's the right holiday. It's the right price. It's just the wrong timing for this holiday. You want to switch jobs or you want to quit your job. It's the right idea. It's just the wrong time. This happens quite often in life and it's okay. The right idea 
the right thing to do and it's the right thing for you it's just the it's just not the right time and this happens in life when we pray for things and it's the right thing we're praying for it's the right thing we're working for just right now is not the time for you to get the thing you're praying for just wait in a different season that thing will work out beautifully for you that's my penti saga for the day i hope that you guys enjoyed this one i've been thinking about this video for so long and i'm so excited that i eventually did it let me know in the comment section if you really like this one and if you want to see more from the penti saga and i will continue with it but until next time beautiful people thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and thank you for giving this a big thumbs up everybody who's joining me live for 7 30 premiere for this video and every other video good morning mwah, to the morning party people until next time beautiful people i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for joining me for the panty saga. Thank you for liking and sharing this video. I'm so excited about this and I love panties. I love panties. I really do love panties. It's a different fashion Friday, but I, I hope you liked it. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click on this picture right here to subscribe. If you have not gone to my website and become part of the gorgeous gang, please, here it is, www.kopanishimangi.com. Until next time, gorgeous, thank you so much. Mwah. Bye.